Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. This is Unité 14, leçon S. And in this lesson, we'll work together on les conjugaisons irrégulières and we'll see especially the verbs that will end with a T-E-R. Okay, so regular verbs from the first group ending with E-R. Okay, but then we'll see that these verbs will be, in some cases, a bit... A bit different. Um, and then uh, what we should keep in mind is that the verbs uh, from the, f well, these family of verbs, so you can see that uh, jeter is the first one, and after that all the verbs uh, will be based on jeter, so déjeter, interjeter, projeter, rejeter, and then surjeter. Well, these verbs won't follow the rule, or uh, they will actually follow another rule. Uh, so all the things that we'll see in this video, they, uh, they won't concern these verbs okay so i've been well choosing a verb acheter quite useful it means to buy uh, and as you can see it's a t -E r so first group but then we'll see that for the indicative present tense future simple conditionnel present and then subjonctif present uh, it will be slightly different okay for all the other tenses actually you just respect the rule that we saw um, well concerning the construction of the conjugation uh, for uh, so all the other tenses I mean it will follow the rule okay so now we'll see the present form and then it goes like j'achète tu achètes il achète nous achetons vous achetez ils achètent and so you can see that the only modifications that or modification we, we will have to do uh, will be to put an accent accent grave on the top of this e uh, here okay and it will concern only je tu il and then il at the plural form okay for nous and vous actually you don't change and you just respect the rule or the, the yeah the rule that we saw concerning the construction of the present tense for the first group of verbs, so ending with a uh, r, uh, okay? But then rem remember that you've got to put it and then you will have to pronounce it, so it goes like j'achète, tu achètes, il achète, and then here, ils achètent, okay? After that, nous achetons, vous achetez, remember this a uh, here is uh, silent or mute, okay? So for the future simple, j'achèterai, tu achèteras, il achètera, nous achèterons, vous achèterez, ils achèteront. So here you can see that all the forms will be concerned and affected or modified. Okay, so it's the same rule. So you will put this accent grave here and then you will change the pronunciation. So you will get this E, achèterait, achètera, achètera, achèteront, achèterait, achèteront. Okay. For talking about le conditionnel présent, it will be well the same. J'achèterai, tu achèterais, il achèterait, nous achèterions, vous achèteriez, ils achèteraient. Okay, so same thing, accent grave here, and then it will affect all the forms. J'achèterai, tu achèterais, il achèterait, nous achèterions, vous achèteriez, ils achèteraient. Okay, and last but not least, let's see le subjonctif présent. Que j'achète, que tu achètes, qu'il achète, que nous achetions, que vous achetiez, qu'ils achètent. Okay? And then, same thing, accent grave, and it will concern je, tu, il, elle, and then il, elle at the plural form. For nous and vous, you don't change it. Okay? Que j'achète, que tu achètes, qu'il achète, and then plural form, qu'ils achètent. Okay, well, that's it. So remember that for this E, T, E, R, you will have to modify at the indicative present, at the future simple, at the conditional present, and subjunctive present for all the other tenses. The verb will behave like a normal E, R verb. Okay, so that's it for this video. If you want more videos, then youtube.com slash imagier. And then I'm also on Facebook right here and a website is waiting for you imagine.net have a great day bye bye